Uh, and speaking of the stainless steel sink, hey, you can order all kinds of stuff online through the Home Depot. Uh, if, even if they don't have something at the store that you like, and you can pick something out. And you know, this had a cast iron uh, sink in it from before. And I like cast iron, it doesn't scratch and stuff. And I've always, you, you know, the only pet peeve of mine about having a stainless steel sink is they scratch and then you can't fix the scratches and, and they're scratched forever more. Well, the good thing with this, when um, we ordered it, it came, oh, where is it? Right here, rinse grids, set of two. And I'm like, who would want to put those in the bottom of the sink? And I asked the lady that when I ordered this over at the Home Depot and she says, oh, well you just put that, you just put that in the bottom and that prevents your scratches. Then you can put your, your dishes in there. And I said, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because that's generally where stainless steel sinks scratch anyways. And I was, I couldn't find, I couldn't find a, a, uh, a cast iron white porcelain sink at their store and I couldn't find one online uh, to fit under counter but even if I did it was gonna cost eleven twelve hundred dollars for one sink are you kidding me well this stainless steel sink here is gonna work fine it's two different compartments and you can get different sizes for different compartments and it came with those two with those two grids it came with some covers for here and it also came with the strainer baskets for here now granted one of these we're gonna put a garbage disposal we'll probably put the garbage disposal over here but see you could put garbage disposal either either side some people put it on the small side but we're gonna put a little tray over here because usually when I wash dishes um, I just set them on a little tray here to dry and I don't generally use the uh, dishwasher because it's just the two of us and and there's only so many dishes you know and then when they're dry put them away nice and easy so I usually set that up over here so we're gonna put the garbage disposal over on that side so we're only gonna need one of those strainers but that whole thing guess how much $1.99 before tax and it's a 16 gauge you want to get on the stainless steel, they've got a 16 gauge and an 18 gauge. You want the 16 gauge. Don't get the 18 gauge because then it pops. It's very thin metal and the 16 gauge um, is a little bit thicker and it also has, uh, I was reading something in there and it has some, something about noise reduction. So there might be some pads that are stuck on the outside or something. And I thought, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty good for a stainless steel sink, you know, $215, I think it was with tax. Okay, so, so if you're thinking about installing new countertops, think about the stainless steel sinks. I mean, it, it's gonna work. I know how to, how to work a stainless steel sink without scratching it to all kingdom come, you know, and especially with those, with those uh, little grid strainers on the, on the bottom. And just set those down there and yeah granted if you want to rinse if you want to rinse the rest of your your sink out you're gonna have to lift that up and get your sponge in there and do that but and then just set that back down there that's all you got to do okay so anyways that's gonna that's gonna work out really good I'll, I'll show you the countertops when they get installed don't worry and um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a few tips some suggestions along the way and all that kind of stuff. I'm not done with this condo renovation episode series yet. Okay, so keep watching. But the next particular video I'm going to do is showing how to cut in wall paint from the walls down to the top of the nicely, freshly painted baseboards and see I've already actually I've already done it along this wall doesn't that look nice and straight look at that I did that with that little cut in paintbrush and um, I, I ended up I ended up actually cutting around these these uh, door frames yesterday okay look how straight that is I did that with that little paintbrush okay I didn't use any masking tape I went I went around these doors Here's another one. I went around this door. Nice. Look how straight that is. I mean, good grief. I'm not even a painter. I'm not even a professional painter. And I got that paint nice and straight. 
Okay, look at that. And I, I did all that and I had just a little bit of paint left to do some cut in. And uh, I cut in the top bit of uh, around the cabinets up at the top where the uh, scribe mold is, scribe trim. I did that. I, I even painted down in here. I didn't really have to paint this section here because my word, the stove's going to fit in here. But I did it anyways just, just because the, the other paint was 15 years old. I, I didn't want the cooties coming back from the old paint and all the grime and all that kind of stuff. So I, I went ahead and did my, did my duty, cut it all in, cut this in, cut that in, up in there. Look how nice that is. Did that with that little paintbrush. Cut, and then I had a little bit of extra paint, so I cut in where the baseboard is. Yeah, I, I still have to put that plastic cover around that. I have to put the cover plate on that so I can push this refrigerator back in the, there. But, and then I had, I had just a little bit of, of paint left, and I wanted to use it up before I got into my next gallon. And so I had enough to cut in that, to cut in, you know, in through there. And I, and I just, I, and I had a little bit more, so I squeaked, I squeaked out enough for that. Did it with a little paintbrush. Nice and straight. Nice and straight along there. Up to there. I think I, oh yeah, that's right. I even did this little section. Okay? And um, I've got to get into that other paint now. Because see, I haven't finished. i got to finish this today. And I'm going to make a quick video of showing how to use that paintbrush the proper way, okay? You can start doing your own painting. I want you to start doing your own paintings and cutting in um, your baseboards, cutting in your door frames, your window stools and aprons, around windows and around cabinets. See, look, looky here. I still have to cut in around this cabinet. I forgot to do that the other day. My word, I forgot. See, I, I was so, uh, worked on getting all the other stuff and cutting in around this this uh, door frame here and then I almost forgot to finish the uh, inside corners because when I when I cut in the ceilings before I went down you know yay far and then um, I left the other and, and uh, I was like okay well I hope I remember to do that so I cut I cut all that stuff in uh, yesterday it cracked me up I was so intent and focused on on that I only wanted to have the baseboard left and I cut I cut this in and somehow look at that I missed I missed this section right here I didn't even paint that so hey when you get done painting and stuff you stand back and you start looking around and, and you'll see you'll see other things you need to paint you know and so that's what I'm going to show you next keep watching my home renovation uh, condo renovations episode whatever episode this is one through who knows how many but hey I'm not done yet so of course you're in luck because that means I'm going to make more videos of this series just for you <laughs> Look at that. All the oak floor planking is gone. Oh, she was very happy about it too. And remember, I had some paint here. I was gonna I was gonna sell that on Facebook Marketplace. I didn't even post it yet. And uh, she said she was remodeling her house and, and I talked her into buying that paint. I had over a hundred dollars worth of paint that's oh a couple weeks old and um, sold it to her for 15 bucks. You know, I, 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 could have, I could have sold it probably for a little bit more, but at least I got rid of it. She's happy, I'm happy, and away you go. Well, time to get busy. Facebook Marketplace, baby. You know, start selling. Think about start, starting to sell all your stuff that you don't need around the house anymore. Take pictures of it, post it on Facebook Marketplace. It's easy and it will make you some money. 
Well, what time is it? It's time to make another video. Yes, it is time to make another video, but not of, what is that anyways? Oh, stainless steel sink is in there. We're gonna be replacing this countertop before the guy can actually come out here and measure for the new counters. He's gotta have the new sink so that they've got the template. This is gonna be an undermount stainless steel sink. The sink that we have happens to be a, you know, a cast iron sink and it's surface mounted over the top. Lots of people, most people nowadays, they don't, they don't do that kind. They like to install them underneath the sink, but that's not what I'm gonna be talking about and showing you today. I'm gonna to be showing you, it's all about getting this condo ready to be moved in. And the, one of the last things I have to do for paint wise, before paint touch up and all that, is I've got to paint from here down. And I've got to get it nice, tight, the wall color down next to the baseboard. Okay, all the way along here. That's one thing, one of the main things I've got to do before I can start putting most of this paint stuff away. I am so sick of painting. I've been painting off and on for at least, oh, uh, two and a half weeks or more. I've been doing all kinds of stuff in this condo, but hey, if you want to watch how I cut in. I'm gonna cut in and I'm gonna use a special little paintbrush right here. It's got an angle on it and everything. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna use for that. I used to use this one here and this is a cut in brush that has an angle on it. I used, used to use that, but I found this one works just as well, if not better. If you wanna watch that, stick around. <laughs> 